What's going on everybody, Stabs here, welcome back to another one of my videos. Today you guys are going to be watching a setup video that you guys probably haven't seen since 2016. Because I don't even think I even uploaded a single video last year to be honest with you guys. So uh, if I did, then it was 2017, if not then it's 2016. But just to briefly say, uh, before I even start the video, everything in this video is going to be linked down in the description below. Everything to uh, where you can find them on Amazon, or on eBay, everything that I have on my desk. Uh, to the specs for my computer. So if you guys are interested in that, it's going to be down in the description below. And uh, at the end, I'm going to have it um, just like a walkthrough of everything at night so you can see how everything looks when all the lights are off, when it's not sunny out, um, and all that good beans. Hopefully my dog doesn't start barking. Now, I got a dog. Uh, for the guys that don't know, he's cute. I'll make a video about him one day. Another thing, actually, before uh, I start recording, I'm going to probably make another video explaining this. Hopefully I will... Um, most likely I will actually, I don't know what I'm saying, probably. But uh, it's going to be another video that basically describing how this channel is going to work from here on out. It's not going to be just mainly Call of Duty videos, as you guys know me. Uh, it's going to be a lot of vlogging and a lot of random shit that you guys are going to see on this channel. So uh, hopefully it's going to be out for the better. Um, but I just want to let you guys know that there's going to be change. But, uh, you know, there's going to be a full video uh, explaining that, you know, moving forward, what's going to be happening with this channel. So from then on forth, um, let's get on with the video. So starting off... Um, to record this high school video, I'm using the uh, Canon T6. Um, I'd love to make a video, you know, showing you guys how I'm using it, but um, I don't have another camera to, to do it with. So um, I'm using the 18, 18 to 55 millimeter lens on it, and uh, right here I actually have a 50 millimeter lens, um, which I do use for pictures and all that good stuff. It is a better lens than that, but um, you know, my room, my room's not long enough for me to use this, so I do have to use the shorter distance lens. Um, but uh, you know. It works out for the better, so who really cares? Nobody. Next off, we have the newer boom arm mic stand. Um, I've had this ever since I obviously got it. Uh, I did make a video about this separately, so if you guys wanted to go check that out, um, I think it's one of the highest video views on my channel. So I'll, I will link that down in the description below as well, um, as long as the other reviews that I do have on here too. Um, on that, I have the uh, Blue Snowball microphone. Um, I've had this for a while. It is a pretty good mic. I got it. It's really cheap if you guys are working to start a channel or anything like that. It is a good mic to start off with. Uh, I think it's like $50 right now. And uh, on that, I do have the uh, pop filter. I'm not really sure where I even got it from. It was just some somebody on eBay. Um, like I said, I don't really have any specifications on where I got it just because I threw out any receipts or any box that I had of it. So right now it's just a random pop filter that I have on there. The computer monitor that I do use is the uh, the Pavilion 25XI. It is a really good monitor, you know, it gets the job done. I would love to buy two of the same monitors for one millisecond that I could have um, matching with the two monitors just because my OCD is killing me. Every time I look at them, I don't know if you guys can notice, uh, one of them is actually higher than the other one. But, uh, you know, for the money that it is, I might as well just kill myself a little bit every single day than spend the money that I don't have on it right now. And then uh, under that I do have a random uh, phone stand that I use to get, you know, the zero notifications that I get on a daily basis because nobody hits up my phone. Um, I keep that under there so that way when I am gaming, when I'm on my computer, uh, I can at least, you know, my phone's angled at a good enough view to where I can see whatever's happening on my phone. For the game monitor, I'm using the Samsung T24 C550. Uh, monitor, I think it is a two millisecond. Hopefully, either that is a two millisecond or three millisecond, something like that. Uh, I guess the job done, like I said again. So I'm not really too complaining about that. I've had it ever since I think I started playing Xbox, or at least I got my own setup different from one of these. So um, I think it's been like Ghost, maybe somewhere around there. Uh, like I said, really good monitor, and um, you know, there's not any issues. Hopefully, I can change them out soon. I'll probably just end up getting this to Monday. Um, in the future, but uh, under that I do have a remote for my uh, RGB lights that you guys are probably seeing in the back of the setup, which I don't even have on actually, even, not if, even if you guys can even see it, um, but I do have that remote and the remote for my TV to actually turn on because this remote, this TV doesn't even have a button to turn it on, which is weird. Resting on top of the Samsung monitor, I have my webcam that I use for every single live stream, that's how you guys see my cute little face in the top right corner. Um, it's a Logitech C920. I've had that for a while too. It's a really, really good webcam. Uh, shoots in 1080p, I think 60 frames or at least 30 frames. So, you know, it's uh, there's no reason to really upgrade at this time unless I'm going to use like an actual camera. Um, like I said, it gets the job done. It's really, really good. 
And uh, to the left of that, I do have my um, Asher A40s, the gray ones that I've had, I think, since uh, Call of Duty Ghosts or Black Ops 3, what the fuck? Advanced Warfare? Yeah, I think it was actually Advanced Warfare that I got it. Um, really, really good. They're getting old, um, but, you know, they're getting a job done. The top of them is even breaking off. But, um, you know, I don't really go that hard anymore to... <laughs> I don't really go that try hard anymore to... Um, buy another pair so I mean they like I said they get the job done I've said that like 15 times in this video and uh, under the game monitor that I do have uh, the mix amp is under there that's just how I use um, how I change the uh, sound the bass whatever if I want to go from my computer volume that's my main priority to my gaming monitor that's how I do it and uh, you know you guys know how a mixer works so Logitech IS 21 speakers are what I'm using for my external um, audio, they're actually really, really good speakers. I have one to the left and to the right of my uh, Samsung monitor, which I use for gaming. And um, they do come with its own sub subwoofer, uh, which I do actually keep in this drawer right here. But that's like my just chuck shit into it and fucking never see it again drawer. Um, so I'm not going to open it because you guys are going to think I'm a fucking hoarder. But, um, fuck it, yeah. Um, they are really good, actually. They're not that bad, I can't lie. Uh, my dad got me them, I think, like, last year or two years ago and uh, they're actually really good so like I said they're going to be linked down in the description below if you guys are ready to check that out. Now for peripherals, uh, the keyboard that I'm actually using is a K55 uh, RGB keyboard from Corsair. You guys are going to, I do have a separate um, review on this. Like I said, I'm, everything's going to be linked down in the description. I have a review for this, for the uh, mouse that I'm about to talk about in a second. Um, but like I said, you know, it is a really good keyboard. It's a membrane keyboard, so it's not any like sticky keys that you guys are going to be hearing like clacking in the middle of the fucking night uh, while your brother's trying to sleep. And, um, you know, so it gets the job done. The lights on it are actually really good. Like I said, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys just how they look at night, and it looks really, really sick. So, um, you know, just give me a minute. <laughs> and uh, for the mouse, I'm using the Red Dragon. I forgot the actual like name of it. I just know it's a Red Dragon mouse. I got it for like $15 on uh, I think Amazon because my other one broke. And I just needed a mouse to like ASAP. So that's what I ended up getting stuck with. Under my keyboard and mouse, I have a red and black mouse pad that I bought uh, to kind of match the setup colors that I have going on. It's usually red and black, but now at that point, it's just that's basically the only red and black thing that I have um, on my setup, but usually those are the, the colors that I try and go for. Uh, once again, I don't really know where I got it from, but it will be the, the link down in the description of the closest place that you could probably get it from. It's not that expensive, actually. It's like maybe 10 to $20, but like I said, it is uh, really good and gets the job done. It's actually a really, really soft mouse pad. Now, probably the biggest um, advancement on my setup um, which is gonna be this little bad boy right here. You guys have probably have been looking at him the whole video. It's a custom built computer, actually happily built by myself. It took a while because I fucked up three times and I had to take it apart three different times. And the fourth time I tried and I got it. And um, not gonna lie, it's a sexy little shit. And I fucking love it. It's uh, running a i7 77 core, um, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a 1060. 6 gigabyte super clocked uh, GPU, so it is a it's a nice ass computer. I'll give you guys that. Um, like I said, all the specs and everything's gonna be down in the description below, so you guys are gonna be seeing everything that's in it. And um, from on this point on the video, I'm probably just gonna show you guys the night setup, how everything looks at night. And um, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. If you do, please like, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on social media. The links are down in the description below, as long as uh, as well as everything else that's gonna be in there with all the setup. And uh, like I said, you guys are going to be looking forward to that one video that's going to basically describe how this channel is going. And uh, hopefully we'll just take it from there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out, guys.